a bad wife. Harry shocked to the core after Meghan's disgusting past exposed she is an alcoholic. Meghan Markle is unlike any other member of the royal family, in that her pre-royal celebrity life means we know a lot more about her than her in-laws. As an actress, she gave TV interviews, made speeches and shared intimate details of her life on her popular blog, The Tig. These everyday details are one of the many reasons people loved the Duchess of Sussex, as she comes across as normal and relatable. As well as sharing her hopes and dreams, travel and food tips, Meghan used the blog to admit some of the things she's not so proud of, including an unladylike habit she has after a few drinks. In a New Year's post at the beginning of 2016, the year she met Prince Harry, she wrote that she's made the same two resolutions every year. She explains that she always hopes to give up biting her nails and swearing, but always struggles. She wrote, the swearing comes in lulls triggered by being overworked or feeling mighty cheeky after a couple drinks. And when it comes to the biting of the nails, well, it still happens with a turbulent flight or a stressful day. But that year she decided to take a different approach to setting herself challenges for the year, and it might have even given her a nudge when it came to meeting Harry. She explains that she hoped to accept the unexpected and enjoy the things that weren't planned, and we're pretty sure meeting a prince wasn't on the radar. She wrote, for this new year, the only thing I aim to do is to approach life playfully. To laugh and enjoy, to keep my standards high but my level of self-acceptance higher. My New Year's resolution is to leave room for magic. To make my plans, and be okay if they sometimes break. To set my goals, but to be open to change. To let the magic know that there is an open door policy with me in 2016 and that it is always welcome to join the party. From the moment that news of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's relationship went public, the former actress has endured near constant scrutiny and criticism from the British tabloid media. The endless nitpicking from both the press and her in-laws has likely taken a tremendous psychological toll on Meghan, but only once has she spoken out against these attacks. We're talking, of course, about when Meghan sat down with Oprah Winfrey to share her account the time she spent living in the UK. That was the only time that Meghan explicitly admonished the royals, but not surprisingly, there were times when she attempted to control the narrative in more subtle ways. As you may have heard by now, journalist Tom Bauer has authored a scandalous new book entitled Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors. And as you might have guessed from the title, Bauer's latest is basically a 540-page hit piece that seems to serve no purpose other than confirming readers' existing biases against Meghan. The weighty tome is loaded with scandalous, and highly dubious, allegations, such as Bowers' claim that the Queen expressed her elation after learning that Meghan would not be able to attend the funeral of Prince Philip. A new excerpt published by Page Six this week takes us all the way back to the early days of Harry and Meghan's relationship. It seems the couple was justifiably upset at tabloid criticism that seemed to capitalize on the racially based prejudice against Meghan that's so shockingly prevalent in the UK. Bauer writes that Harry's former press agent Jason Knauf agreed to issue a statement on the prince's behalf damning the media for their description of Meghan.